One of my most asked questions, if not the most asked question, is how do I get my iPad screen onto my PC so that I stream through OBS? And today I'm going to show you how to do it without an Elgato and without breaking, uh, going bankrupt. So I've been basically using uh, a software that's called Duon for the past two years just to get my iPad screen on my PC. The good thing about Duon compared to other softwares which get your iPad screen on your PC is that you can also use it with cable. You have both options, so uh, Wi-Fi or cable. But uh, cable is way more stable and way more better quality. That's why I have been using Duon also for so long. It does, however, cost a little bit, but it's it's really not that much. And since I was already planning on making this video, Duon was kind enough to sponsor this video and make it able so that I can give five accounts five VIP accounts for free so that they don't have to buy uh, the subscription for a year long. To know how to get this subscription, just keep on watching till the end of the video and I'll explain you how to join, enter this giveaway. So uh, firstly, you got to download Do One on their official site. It will be the first link in the description. Uh, you just download the Windows 64-bit one. After you've downloaded it, you can just close your Google and you can just run Do One. So once you've opened Do One, you get you'll get be getting this screen. Uh, here it says you can either connect your uh, iPhone or Android device via cable or uh, with Bluetooth. So once you've opened the uh, app, you get you'll be getting this, which says uh, you can have up to sixty to a hundred uh, frame rate, four K ultra clear video. You can connect with your iPad via cable. I'll, I'll use my cable because it's better quality and uh, it doesn't depend on my Wi-Fi, which sometimes can struggle, especially uh, because I stream a lot and I don't want my Wi-Fi to, str uh, to struggle with it. So uh, what you just got to do is just plug in your cable just like this. Okay, so what you see here now is that uh, do one in the start, you have the watermark. This can be just removed by getting a VIP ac access, which you'll be able to get uh, for free. Okay, now you can see that this is really smooth. It's it's 60 frames a second. But what you see now is with black bars. You can also just drag around with it and put it where you want. After this, just to get the best quality on uh, your OBS or Streamlabs, you can just press the camera button over here. Just press the camera with the one one. Now we can open OBS. Um, create a new scene. Then plus scene, and then we can just instead of window capture which will won't give the best quality we can highlight we can use video capture which uses the best quality add it and then just select do one camera now this is the best quality it has to offer it to drag it completely you can just uh click shift and it will and then just drag it over and now it's completely stretched i used to just do this window capture and then add capture and then you have this and you can just drag it but uh i've learned from the devs themselves that if you use the ob the video capture it's better quality and uh it, which makes it way better so also besides this you can also use do one as a webcam so if you don't have a webcam which i actually don't have myself i use my phone as a webcam you can just use do one uh, you can also see that there's a multi-device center, so you can connect up to 120 devices, standby cable, uh, to your PC, which is insane. I don't think anyone needs 120 devices, but that's insane. So I can just connect up my phone, so I, I'll take my phone real quick. I also need to trust it, you can see here, just trust the device, which you also need to do on iPad. I, 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 ju I just have my PC already trusted on my iPad, that's why I didn't show on my iPad. Uh, make sure though also in the settings, uh, you gotta change the settings to 1080p so that you're sure that it's the best quality. Uh, I have normally fast charge enable, which makes it so that when I have my iPad connected to my PC, it also charges my PC so that I can just stream until I don't want to stream anymore. Now we got my iPad over here. What I can do now, what you now can do is just add video capture video device. You just add it and then we add the number six camera. Okay, so now we just make this smaller. We can transform it with transform. We can transform it with transform and then rotate 90 degrees clockwise. This is my camera right now. Okay, so uh, how this position it is. So right now we have my camera right here. You can right click it and then crop it. And uh, you can just remove 
everything that's not necessary. I can just drag this back up, crop this, and then now we have everything without the, black, the picture. And voila, we have the camera without any black bars, and you can now use your uh, phone camera as a webcam. Okay, and the last thing that I want to show you is that if you just want to record your gameplay, there's also this neat little button here that records your whole gameplay lag-free. I want to thank you for watching this whole video and as promised I am going to give away five free uh, I'm going to give away to five people a VIP access to this so that you don't have to buy it to get uh, to not have the do one watermark on it. In order to join this you will have to join my Discord which will probably be the third link in this description. And then go into hashtag giveaway where I'll be hosting a giveaway for four uh, for five people to get a uh, do one VIP. Thank you for watching and have a great day.